Hey yo, it's your boy Omokogan here, back with another video to share for you guys. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about everything that we need to know when it comes to the new set that is coming out May 27th called the Etrestrial Residence of the new Pokemon card set. So one thing to also clarify that I've also noticed that I also heard from someone that which is pretty clear is that this set is mainly all about <clears throat> the the game Pokemon Legends Arceus and it is an amazing game I literally bought me a switch just so I can play that game because I hear a lot of people talk about the game and it's pretty fun and I'm telling you I don't regret buying the switch I don't regret playing the game I really love it I still haven't finished it but I'm going to finish it pretty soon but yeah that's literally what I can tell that this whole set is about and I'm pretty sure if you play the game and you have certain types of Pokemons that you love or you have certain types of leaders or trainers or anyone in the game that you that you like you're more likely gonna see them in this set so with further ado let's get right into the into the list of cards so as so right now we see that everything is Japanese well the website that I'm using all the cards is showing is still in Japanese but there's some cards that are still are showing in English because more likely on the Pokemon website or on the Pokemon Facebook um, home screen they're going to show some promo like I guess you could say they're going to give like little sneak peeks of those type of cards to give a little hype for the set coming up so right now you can just see the Pokemons as a picture and know what they are and then there's some you'll see that some are in English and another reminder I'm starting to get into Pokemon really good at it but I'm still not fully equipped to know all of the names I'm starting I'm gonna try my best to know all the names by the end of the year but more than likely I'm not gonna know every single Pokemon I'm pretty sure like I've seen them I know what they look like and I and I know their types their weaknesses and all that stuff is just the name that that I will not be able to remember or be able to <clears throat> pronounce properly I'm pretty sure the same thing with human names I, I I know faces but I don't know names <laughs> but yeah let's just scroll through and see what we have to offer for the set so as you can see there's not that many cards for uh, for the um, leaf types Pokemons <clears throat> you'll be seeing this Pokemon um, during a battle in the game that's one thing to, to be looking forward to uh, and you can see that they barely have any fire types <clears throat> which is a shame because I because I just I just feel like that they need to you know promote more of the fires you can't just hardcore put like all of this leaf and then barely any fire types I mean there is a, a good chunk of fire types in the game I don't know why <clears throat> Why is not even in here? Like Flareon could be in there, you know. The Eevee's in, is part of the game. It can involve the Flareon. Flareon should be in here. <clears throat> but we got a bunch of water types, as you can see. Starmie is one of the English versions that you can see <clears throat> of the card. Um, we can give a little recap of what it does. So, two random energy cards. This attack damage uh, isn't affected by weakness or residence resistance excuse me or by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon which does 50 damage and if you and you need two um, water types two energy water types um, for this to work this attack does 50 damage for each energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon so it's a pretty good attack to use but the only thing that is is going to be something to think about is it only works really well <clears throat> if your opponent has a lot of Pokemons and it has a lot of energy attached to it. If they don't have any of those, then that attack is basically useless. Unless they're working on one specific Pokemon that you're going against and that's the only thing. But other than that, you're, you're probably going to at least do 100 damage at least or 150 by, that, by the chance. So basically, taking away energy card... Or taking away energies for anything is just going to make your attack less damage. So that's something to think about when it comes to Starmie. Let me scroll down. <clears throat> this is one of the one of the Pokemons you'll be going against towards the end of the game. I don't think I have... The, this is the next Pokemon I have to go against in the game. But I haven't got to it yet. Um, but <clears throat> this Pokemon is pretty 
pretty strong. So as you can see, for the water type, you need one water energy. Then search your deck for a stadium uh, card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck, which is pretty good. You can get um, a, a stadium card that will be able to heal, heal your water type Pokemons, which is really good. And then, of course, it does 200 damage, but the next turn, you can't do it again, but you have to wait an additional turn just to do 200 damage again. <clears throat> and then we have the V-Star version, where... This attack does 20 more damage for each bench Pokemon for both you and your opponent. So, depending on how many Pokemon you have and depending on how many Pokemon your opponents have, is determines on the damage that you will do. And pretty much one um, Stadium card, which would be good, is also if you choose to get the one where you put you can make your bench a lot more for Pokemon's then that will be a good uh, advantage for yourself and for your opponent so you can add up more damage and just put a bunch of other Pokemons to start this one up. <clears throat> we move on and we can see that this is this one right here um, is called Hesionum. <coughs> Hesion? Hesion? I'll say Hesion. Um, this is one of the basically promo, um, the, the cover of one of the Pokemons that is the cover of the set, um, I can't really tell what it really does because in Japanese, but I'm pretty sure it's still pretty well. <clears throat> the only, it's it's kind of sucky. There's only two electricity types, uh, literally two. So as you can, so if you get two of these, then hey, congrats, you got every all the electricities in the deck. <laughs> um, as we can continue to look, scroll down. Um, you can see, you'll see a lot of these two Pokemons. One of the Pokemons, I can't remember, quite remember the names, but you'll see a lot of these Pokemons during the nighttime. You'll see these Pokemon towards the end of the game that will give you some items to be able to continue the game, which is, which is pretty cool. I like how they end up giving you like little quizzes and stuff like that. Like how many eyes does the total, the total of eyes for all these Pokemons and it gives you the names of Pokemons which is pretty cool because it keeps it makes you think and it makes you need to know what how many eyes they have and as we sc scroll down we have more <coughs> um, uh, rock types um, physical types I have not seen um, Lucero I think that's how you pronounce the name I have not seen that Pokemon yet I'm still hoping I can get one in my hands but still haven't seen one appear even a Ryu have not seen that yet. Um, we scroll <clears throat> scroll down. We got some darkness um, and poison Pokemon's. I end up getting one of these Pokemon's that was a alpha during an attack, which was really good because this that one does a lot of damage. Is this one right here? Yeah, this one right here. It does a whole lot of damage. I'm telling you, you will you'll be happy to have that one. Um, you'll see this Pokemon. Um, as the as a, a one to help you out when it comes to climbing tall mountains and rocks, so that one's a pretty helpful one. <clears throat> um, I have not seen these two Pokemon's or these two Pokemon's yet. Um, later on, it looks like that. It looks like it's related to. Hmm. I that's some. I I'm not gonna say it because I'm not quite sure. I don't want to look dumb, <laughs> but. Oh, I swear! It is very hard to get to get the uh, magnet magnetic um, Pokemon's because you mainly will see them during a a dimension that will pop up, and then of course every single time you get really close to them, they will spot you. So you have to use abilities to be able to to be able to even catch them or not get the get your attention. You scroll a little bit more down. There's only two dragon types. Pokemons, as you can see, it's just only two, Sally. Then you have a bunch of regular, normal Pokemons. <clears throat> of course, you have your Eevee. You have your, your Sagging. And then you see you have the... I can't, I can't pronounce it, but the, one of the cats that you see in the game. And then you see your deer, Deerling, I think is what it's called. <clears throat> but yeah, and that's all the Pokemons that is in the set. I'm telling you, if I cannot get Adamant... In my hands, I'm going to riot because Adamant is someone I definitely want to have when I open my booster box. He is one of my favorites. The dude's hair is amazing. Um, you cannot hate on this man's style. It is way better looking than everyone else in the game. So I definitely need to get him at least by 
the rare card. If I don't get the rare card, I'm going to be disappointed. Because I definitely, I know I'm, I'm kind of scrolling down, but I want to get this one too. If I can't get the other one, this one's the one I want. <clears throat> but yeah, let's now we can go from the top. So you can see all the people that is in the game and all the types of util, util, utilities <laughs> you'll use in the game as well. It gives you the areas that you'll see in the game. You'll be in you'll be in the Jub Jubilee Village for most of the game. The the Grape Job Bog is one of the areas that you'll have to go into to continue the quest. This is basically towards the end of the game right here. And some more things that you will be using and seeing as you continue the game. So now these are the arts the the art cards that will kind of be the highlight of most of the sets <clears throat> um, I'm going to say that this one will be a good a good high card as you can see down here that is 71 out of 67 so it is a secret rare card and I'm more likely it's going to be a high price card and this one right here looks very nice as well 75 out of 67 it, see, it's, telling, it's just really amazing to be able to see these cards. <clears throat> but my man uh, is 77 out of 67, and he is a secret rare. Uh, I, I really hope that that is not like from how the other sets I've seen. If you see my last two videos that I've posted, I've gotten, well, one. I did not show it because I was with my friends and opened some packs. I got a secret rare card. From the chilling regions, and the suckiest thing ever is yes, it's a rare, a secret rare card, but it's only worth five bucks. And then my last video with the Arceus video, if you haven't seen that one, I guess if you just to spoil it, I guess um, that card was like only three bucks. It was a secret rare card. It was only worth three bucks. See, that's the thing that kind of, kind of like makes me mad. You get secret rare cards. They're hard to get, but yet you can easily just go online and just buy it and just say, hey, I just got a secret rare card because how low the card is worth. See, that's the thing that it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be that low to the point where you can easily just buy it and it's a secret rare card. But yeah, as we continue to scroll down some more some more of the um, trainer cards of their the art cards and then you got your rainbow cards of those the trainers and the clan leaders and the and the V Max and V Stars Pokemons that you'll get in the game. <clears throat> but yeah, they look really nice. I I would really love to get these two right here. They look nice in gold. Most definitely. <clears throat> but yeah, and I'm very excited for the deck. I even to be honest, even if this set is not as pricey as, as um, dang, I literally forgot what it was. Brilliant Stars. If this set is not even worth a lot more than Brilliant Stars, it, it's okay to me. I, I literally love the game for what it is, and I'm just going to enjoy this set for what, <clears throat> for, for it representing the game, because it, it was just pure amazing. I, I'm just excited for the set. May 27th is next week. I'm more excited to see it. <clears throat> so, since we saw the whole card list, now let's get into the informational wise of knowing some promo stuff. So, of course, I will show you some promo stuff from the TCG um, TCG player. But one thing I like to mention, I'm not sure if everyone knew, is that GameStop is also doing a doing a promo card. Like it's basically GameStop exclusive. So more likely you have to make sure that you go to GameStop in order to get this one in particular cuz I I literally saw saw it somewhere but I could not remember finding it cuz that would have been good to show you but this is just based on just trust me cuz I I seen it and I'm letting y'all know that yeah GameStop is having a promo card of this Pokemon right here um especially just for that one just for gamestop if you want to get it make sure to come go by to gamestop when the set comes out and ask them about the exclusive promo card and i'm pretty sure they will show you and give it to you and if you decide to buy it you can go ahead and buy it um so the one the booster box yeah of course i bought the booster box and i got it from the game game nerds which is way cheap it's cheap at the moment it was cheaper from when i bought it because i think i bought it in April just to get ahead of time because I did not want 
to basically get it and everything just raises up or everything will of course sadly things can go down because sadly you can get the you can get this for 110 now from at the TC TCG um, player because at the moment it was up there it was like 128 and as time went by the price just started going down so I could have saved like four bucks or could save a little bit more money if I just waited a little bit longer but it is what it is um, but also for right now don't trust <clears throat> what you see right now for the cards prices because they're just they're just there right now they're not fully officially like letting you know like what the price it is gonna be for this one what the price is for this card because as you can see that it is just for the moment like some people have like five dollars for this one or uh, um, excuse me um, five people made a list for this one four people made a list on that one uh, one person made a list on this one four people made a list on this one two people made a list on this one like it's based on what they decided on what how how it wants to be because if you if I go to number two scroll down well where is it uh ch -ch 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 -ch. where is that sucker yeah because you for example like this right here adam man is 1795 and it's in second page and mixed in with the ones that are only worth like 49 cents 74 cents they're not they're not fully set to be where it should be it's basically it's basically all over the place until it's all ready to be showing the highest to the lowest <clears throat> but yes it's pretty much all over the place but again you need to come by to the tcg player to know how high it is and how low it will be for certain types of cards <clears throat> but there so but still you can also get uh, a display basically 10 boost 10 of the uh, building battles 10 of those basically bundles of everything yeah 110 for a booster box $48 for a build and battle and $38 for elite trainer box I'm more likely gonna buy me an elite trainer box just for the fact that I want to be able to get open more cars besides <laughs> opening a booster box and hopefully might get something good in this one too because I also like to get the box itself so that's another thing but yeah there we have it that's everything that <clears throat> I'm here I'm basically here to offer and to show you what to expect for the new set it's going to be coming out again May 27th so please make sure to go by Walmart by the weekend because that's when that's when they will actually release like basically put the cards out um, like last last time when Brilliant Stars came out I went by Walmart by Friday and they were there for Brilliant Stars and then they were still there by Sunday and then they're all out by Monday or Tuesday so <clears throat> make sure you go by and get your cards whenever the day comes out or pre-order a booster box or pre-order a lead trainer box those are the two main ones that you want to buy besides just getting regular packs for me I like to collect of course I'm most definitely collector I'm more likely just gonna buy still just several packs like for say the pictures I like to be able to have my hands on the pictures as well and just to have on the side just be, just to have it so more than likely I'm going to buy four packs of all the four different pictures elite trainer box and then of course my booster box and anything that's gifted to me is what I'll be opening and showing to you guys so thank you so much for watching my videos if you like what I was able to offer you please make sure to subscribe because I'll be doing another video like this for Dragon Ball Super because Dragon Ball Super the ultimate um, ultimate team is coming out next month and I will still have plenty of time to be able to give y'all information on what you need to look out for, what to uh, decide, and what you should do. Because it's stuff that I like to address and what I feel like my opinion is about. If you want me to give my opinion about this one, if you really love the Pokemon uh, Legends RCS game and love what was there and what it was to offer, you'll love this set, to be honest. Like for me, I'm excited for what... Since I've played the game and know what to expect from the game and seeing what's there to offer, I'm pretty excited and hopefully I can get something good. So if you're looking for something just for price ranges, sadly I feel like it's not going to be as high because most of the cards here is not like, 
like for example, Charizard is not in here. Umbreon is not in here. It's like none of the well-known Pokemons are in here, or the really really hype Pokemons. Personally, I like even though you might have some personal favorites, like you can see this one is like one of the high high mighty Pokemons. It's not really like everyone does not talk about it. It's not something that everyone is like, oh, I can't wait to get this one. Like out of any decks or anything like that. Like I'm not trying to hate on Pokemon. I love Pokemon to death. Is just it's not gonna pop off as high as Brilliant Stars for the fact that it's not none of the high mighty Pokemon cards are in here. But to be honest, regardless of that, I'm still gonna enjoy this set no matter how high or how low the cards are because I'm very excited to see and hope I can get something really good. So yeah. Um at least try to at least get a lead trainer box and see what you get and let me know what you get. I would love to be able to see what you've gotten. So yeah, thank you so much for watching my videos. Uh, I hope that y'all please subscribe to the channel and like the video and also give comments on what you think, on how you feel about the set. I would love to hear your feedback. Um, I have have I opened some Pokemon cards, um, RCSV figure collection box. I would like for y'all to see that video as well. I made a video for Dragon Ball. Same thing with that one. So please check those out. And it is your boy, Omogogan, and I hope y'all have a great day. Peace.